Grad ICU nurses, let's talk about permissive hypercapnia because, yep, we are still intubating patients with COVID-19 and, yep, we're still doing this 18 months into a pandemic where we have multiple safe and effective vaccines that would prevent hospitalization and death. But let's talk about ventilator management stuff. So normal PCO2 in an ABG 35 to 45. However, in ARDS patients, which COVID-19 are AR patients are ARDS patients, sometimes you actually want to target a higher PCO2 to prevent um, barotrauma and hyperinflation on the small airways of the lungs. I don't remember learning this in nursing school, but you want to target uh, six to eight mils per kg of ideal body weight for tidal volumes. So there's a chart. This is a chart that shows height in centimeters, ideal body weight, and then the tidal volumes associated with each height. So six mils per kg, seven mils per kg, eight mils per kg. So if you're like a five foot one male, uh, seven mils per kg would be, what is that? Uh, 350 tidal volume. ARDS causes inflammation everywhere and leaky capillaries, right? And then leaky capillaries and lungs full of fluid aren't great at doing gas exchange, oxygenation. So if your lungs are full of all of this fluid and inflammation markers, and then we are blasting these patients with high tidal volumes and high respiratory rates, that increased pressure on these already damaged small airways can cause uh, further destruction of the delicate alveoli. If you remember from nursing school, the two ways to change your PCO2 are with the breath size, tidal volume, and with the respiratory rate. So you see permissive hypercapnia uh, is a strategy which uh, aims to avoid hyperinflation induced lung trauma or barotrauma and it's measured by limiting the plateau airway pressure. So someone will ask you what your plateau pressures are. The blue part here is your plateau pressure and it's measured during the inspiratory pause. H ask a respiratory therapist how to measure that and they will show you on the ventilator. If you're new, you'll hear people say different things. They'll say lung protective ventilation. They'll say ARDS protocol. They'll say permissive hypercapnia. All of that's talking about the same thing, which is using lower, ti lower tidal volumes as long as the gas is oxygenating okay to allow a higher PCO2 to try to prevent further trauma to the delicate small airways and alveoli. COVID ECMO patients will have literally, like, they'll have tidal volumes of 50, like, Five zero. It's crazy. <laughs> I am not a respiratory therapist. I am not a palm crit doc. This is just like for new grad nurses. You're doing great. Welcome to the circus.